I need to get... Mr. Andy, how have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please, could you, can you help me? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure, what, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. What do you need? Uh, could you just, uh, just straighten my hair a little? Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Uh, please, it is a kindness I would cherish to my soul. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off. Is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? Oh, my goodness. I do not know of any deal. But I am not so inventively rude. Please... By helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Okay. There. Your, your madre would be proud. Or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever Please so much. Pleasure. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. I thought he was wearing a cap. What are you doing there? Oh, what's that? What's that? I have an interesting thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Uh, Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. Is that the worst thing you could think of? I don't watch a lot of male-directed... Yeah. Okay. I prefer my own AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries. Okay. Sealed, not what? What's this way? Is that a tent? Nice blood river, like it, like it. It's the aesthetic of the face. Dirty, hurty, dirty. Dirty, hurty, dirty. What's this now? I just want to see. Oh, what is. What's here? Damn, this is a big place. Dirty, hardy, guardy. Is it like a rock show place? Up, bar. We reached the end. I thought for a second I was gonna fall in. Boo! This looks like eyes. I'm, I'm assuming that's not a lot intentional. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I like the music. I was wondering why there's no six second. Okay, everyone retweet. Oh, blah, blah, blah. 
Yes. Let's see. Let's go over the bridge. Let's go upstairs. I want to see what's upstairs. Giant gate? Is that The sign says that giant door is the... the... 87th Propyleum to the Nine Circles? Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockro to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockro. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. Is that how you get in and out? I'm assuming it is. Ooh. This looks like okay. the unchaste crater. It says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchaste because God was being rude. The Hall of Justice Courthouse. Okay. The Karma Magistratus. The Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. Cosmic I wonder what justice. kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Yeah, it's probably like keeping so them well. back a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like, do they deserve to be tortured in hell for... Yes. I would also assume if you, if you, I mean, if you got to hell, it would already kind of be determined that no, you are guilty. No, one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half nose cup weevil. body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season, a little flower, hateful flower. Uh-huh, and what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Okay. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh my goodness. All drunk children! Drunk, drunk children, children, please! Take some treats from treat cards. I want that. I'm Lutzel <laughs> Frau, and my charming day. Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzel Frau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll have the, uh, the, um, hamster looking. Uh, food. Sure thing. One fried and candied rat coming right up. Well, oh, actually, on second thought, I think I'd prefer to keep my stomach lining. Second thoughts off of bungee jumping in Arkansas, sweetheart. Now keep it moving if you don't want any. Oh. They look like Millie's on a stick. Cool. More? More up? Up, up, up? More up. Let's go. Where are we? Can I have a fair? I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
Hello to everyone watching. I don't know why I always want to sing that. This the war memorial. Commemorating the fallen in the war against the sons of light by the lords of darkness. Okay. I don't really know where I'm going. Well, I know where I'm supposed to go. But I just want to have a look. Let's go back downstairs. Once I figure out how to free my arms and legs from these chains and stop this pigeon from. Okay. We need to go downstairs. Moonshine. Smokes and lock too. I really want to try one though. You found one of Lutzelhaus Luminous Candies? Yes. I, uh, sure. No, we're good. Speaks apt. I'm assuming it's apartments. We gotta go left. Hell's the blue river. Oh my. I have no idea what to do, just said, I'll about it, bitch. That's what I read. Exactly that. So we're supposed to go into the sealed knot. The sealed knot. I think this is the place. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. <coughs> we get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. Uh, listen, Bouncer Guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. No. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Who is um, this dude? Excuse me, uh, fellow fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of uh foot <laughs> hands. Oh, right this way, sir. He's obviously not a demon. Okay, so I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius, and I feel like I might have broken through to the other side, uh, but I'm not totally sure which side I started on. Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to... G whatever. Okay, I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls mm -hmm. have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but... Less emotionally scary. So, 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 all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah? Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, I as far fetched idea. as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? 
Well, yeah, I was trying to... let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. That, uh, witch, uh, Lutzelfrau? Her coat might be good for this. Well, okay, I just hope she washes it. Probably not. Probably not, no. Let's go get it, then. Uh, hey, so, when you told Sam about how I was gonna work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you, uh, I don't know, you, you didn't seem, uh... Well, you did seem a little, like... I, 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 I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Ah, oh, jeez, I need, like, a thesaurus. Uh, did I sound happy for you? Cause I am. I'm happy as a damn clam you're staying behind to build breakaway furniture for magician wrestlers. Yeah, you really sound clam happy right now. I mean, you're just... It's just weird, cause you're the one that's moving. Uh, I'm staying in town. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. Why are you betrayed? Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. Frosty? Oh my goodness. La la, you're so Wait. mean sometimes. <gasps> How do I use Baker? I need my guns. I could ask for these <laughs> Okay, girl. Uh, Lutzelfrau? Yes? I need we, your coat. Uh, we want to... Look, we'll eat your diarrhea candy, but we have a request. God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone, quickly. Your dress. Yeah, it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. Oh, okay. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Kohl's. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop. Please. Right. Good coach. Uh, what's the hold up? Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's polar bellied rats? Do you, my dear? Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Oh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come on. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the... the dress, you... Oh, God. Mm. Why was I born? Okay, follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits, you're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. <laughs> no samples. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way taller, aren't you? <laughs> Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. I'm assuming she knows why we need the dress. Ta -da! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cop knockers, you know. You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much, it's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry. It's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're... Not that easy to carry. Hey, it's not too late to switch, okay? If little mister... Of course, don't find it there. 
course, I'm cool with it. Of course it's too late. I am cool with it. If a demon sees us change, it's... We're screwed, so let's... I'll press on. We're pressing on. Just... Take it easy. Just stop humping my neck. I'm not humping your neck. Stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Okay, just forget it. Tally-ho! Tally... Tally forth! Let's just get to the park. Let's get to the park. <laughs> I like how they're walking. Check the cages. Guardy, guardy, guardy! I just want to say that all the time. Guardy, guardy, guardy. Whoa, we are running, man. We're fast. Go. Run. We're meeting Apollyon in there, footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. I don't want to go in while they go in. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well to do demon. Very put together. Of scale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, the all set. She's in the back. You move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Good man. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> You're ready to see some wild shit. Let's go in. With our little witch's hands. Let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves when we need to. Okay, but do we help anymore? Demon's guts can't speak. We're gonna need a refill. And, uh, something to fish out the teeth? <gasps> oh, yes. What are you saving uh, up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Pavillon. Oh, she's a judge. Let's get a drink. Yes, yeah, supermodel convention show up. What can I get you? Um. Let's take this one. First chaser. It's, we need some different courage. Oh, you getting sick? Cause you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Fuck off and mind your business. Your job is to get me drunk, not tell me I need to take my daily vitamins. Daily vitamins? Pfft, that sounds like something two humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> not that that would ever happen. Oh, oh man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Let's take a sip. Hello, fellow, uh, fellow specters of malevolence. <laughs> can I, can we I found the other something? one. Hey, uh, break light. Don't tell anyone, but I'm not a real demon. Either. Oh, uh, I see. So, since Coleco Magnavox, stabber of annoying tourists, has a bit of a lazy eye, Coleco Magnavox ain't a real demon. Uh, no, I'm 
If I wanted to be insulted, I'd have stayed at home and asked my roommate to have dinner with me again. Okay. What? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is going on here? Oh! Okay, let's go talk. Let's take a sip of our drinky drink. Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. Fresh? You mean outside? That shit's half chlorine, half skunk, half dying turtle vomit. Actually, you know what, guys? What did we just see? Stars. My Mephistopheles beard, this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this, um, uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... by thesaurus. You buy it, thesaurus. Um, not to completely change subjects, but, uh, Apollyon, what are you reading over there? Looking at pictures of succulents? That's what I'm normally on my, uh, my phone mm -hmm. for. Do I know you? Jim mm -hmm. Jumps. Oh, totally. We met at Jim Jumps, um, St. Patty's Day party, you know, the, uh, the little Easter rising. We took shots on the terrace. I think Beelzebub was probably complaining about or something. <laughs> oh, sounds like our Beezle. Can't take a piss without clocking out his timesheet. All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? Um, give me this one. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Oh, Mary no. For the who gives a shit firm of I'm making this up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone, no one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no, we were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Scott Black. My name's Lutzelfrau. Lutzelfrau? Really? Oh, you're a witch, right? Oh, I think I've heard of you. She's the one that makes pies out of kittens and washes her clothes in, uh, what, what was it? Feces. Ah, oh, feces, right. Let's all for how. I'm a total recipe hound. Tell me, what's your secret ingredient for those candy apples again? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Please, indulge us. It help out my mother's cooking, I'll tell you that much. Well, I am a witch, and we are in hell, so probably something horrible, right? Orphan brains, or... The eyeballs of a cute waiter or some. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. Hey, hey, hey. Look who it is. Gerald, I'd like you to meet Lutzelfrau. Ah, the witch of the Black Forest. Nice to meet you. So anyway, Rory stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald? Seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Lutzel friend? Oh, my gosh, I was Ramon. just about to ask the same question. You bootlickers sure do love to, to talk about work, mm -hmm. don't you? Can't, can't get enough of your jobs. What a weird word, jobs. Sounds like a, a weird kind of animal, right? Can't talk, honey. Going job hunting. <laughs> okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. 
I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Okay. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Wait, guys, Polly isn't... our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. Bye, Wormhorn. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But, uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no, go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? Roberto Spaghetti. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, well, hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think, I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. Wait, wait, wait. Polly wants to run hell? Why the fuck would anybody want to do that? Oh, I don't know. The publicity, the fame, the hedge fund managers sacrificing hookers to you every day. And you know, it's horrible to say, but she has a good heart. And hell doesn't have to just be about what went wrong. It could be about other things, too. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent meeting. Yeah, I wouldn't play that out on the certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get, like, excited about it. Yeah, let's let's not get distracted from the, uh, the smaller picture. Okay, oh, let's just quickly go by here. Yeah, it's really fucking weird safe. Oh my gosh. Lying is an accursed vice. Dancing man. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Lutzel Frau? I'd like to maybe think about this longer than you might expect. Oh. Ugh. Oh, God. My knees are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Hey, you! You sorcerer! You turned me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings! <laughs> we didn't meet at Jim Jum's St. Patrick's Day party, though he does usually throw a fun one. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. I Thank drink. you. But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, your, your honor, we just want your seal, okay? We, we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that matter. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll forget all about all the stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Uh... Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You I feel like it's no use. You you ever heard any such story. Um... Correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of mannered offenses. I personally I like disagree, it but I can see it. his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more. To annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Oh my gosh. Uh, um... How? Andy. 
Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's Office. <laughs> uh, seriously? Yes. Um, okay. That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Lutzel Frau. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? You want us well. to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Fair? Well, what if he's innocent? He seems. I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Fine. Ready? <sighs> I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. Hey, <laughs> if you say so. Already? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat. And see you on the other side, kids. Oh, my goodness. You, uh, you want to get in on this? Sent me to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn, I have sought justice. <laughs> yeah. And for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Wetzelfrau. What? It's just stupid. What? It's just... I need a drink. Yeah! Yeah! Here. Where's the bomb at? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? That's how I feel. And give me for something you, with gin. Oh, madam. Okay, we want... Double talk. Charming. Oof. Please. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tudovillis. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit, this is ours. I mean, the one Polly wants thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client... I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. Faster! I just want to say that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. 
and the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? E yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a <laughs> warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, right. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. Oh, shit. So anyways, here. Huh. Okay! Well, that went a different way than it normally does. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you. Guilty. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remandered for processing in the morning. Thanks everyone for coming out tonight. The high courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok fuel pump sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! Oh, damn. I don't feel good about what we just did, Milo. So I don't either. What the hell? But we should have just rolled the dice there. Maybe tried working another monarch. I don't know. Listen, Polly, Apollyon must know something we don't. Why else would it be so important for her to keep Roberto in hell? I just wish I didn't have to see his face when, when he realized he wasn't getting acquitted. Yeah. I don't feel too good about this. Oh. Milo? Lola? Uh, no. Yeah, it's you. Your immediate presence is requested. And this ain't a request. Mm. Go to first and her right now. She's waiting for you at the school here, Scrapper. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, to her seal. Let's go, Lola. What are you looking at? I'm assuming it's to the left, to the left. I wanna know what's up these days. What you date for? It's quite ominous in here. A little tense in the background. Every mother would send my baker first. She is getting. That makes no sense. Where's... What's 
ship base. What should we do? Should I try and climb in front and like steer? Not that I want to, but I'm nervous of careening into like an evil Samuel, buoy huh? or something. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help us. She has to have like a uh, remote well, way to remotely control this thing. Mm, why does she have to have that? Um, because it's magic? God, <laughs> doodle, the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the... You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. What the yeah. hell are oh, these people? Oh, you're a boyfriend. That's where I get a lie. Oh, people. I get it. It's my turn. Uh... Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective, so self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. And everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormhorn, okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to That's handle it. That's not what I meant to say. What? I'm sorry, I, you're so much stronger than I am, physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. You know, I thought your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a pathetic security guard demon just to sneak into the House of Lies. And then you outparty a monarch of Hades Apollyon. That's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still. You don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? All right, who the hell cares what Lola's sisters think about her now, Wormhorn? Hey, I don't care about anything except doing an excellent job excellently. She's the one that cares what her sisters think. No, I don't. At least, not as much as I like, used to. Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. And lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner and pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> what? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal psyche. Just ignore them, Lola. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the Almighty, in fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open and staring at the table. Man, I don't know if Wormhorn deserves a spirit acting award or anything, but your sisters sound like morons. They are morons. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because I can at least do that, Wormhorn, okay? I can care. I, I can care even when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family, and you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? 
Yes, really. Oh, really? Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, no, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam. Oh, God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this a bit right, supposed Sam. to hell then? Ugh, fine, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush, toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So. Sorry? Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How'd you even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back you to the strangler. A to... yes. is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Nola. And then Satan, and then home. Nice. Fuck yeah. They seem really bored. Gorgon Disco. We picked horns. Is that sea? It's covered in spikes. Not a seat, I guess. Difficult. Oh, goodness. Apollyon? You thought about becoming oh. an attorney, right? Um, what? No. I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Um, how do you even know that? I'm a seraphim, dear. I've looked through the heavenly telescope into every hazard of time. I can tell by how you tie your shoes what you think you want out of life. Oh. You both did well. Roberto's being transferred to the Seventh Circle as we speak. I know you don't feel it, but you did a good deed here tonight, which, I shouldn't have to tell you, is very rare in hell. Well, you're right. It doesn't feel good. It feels like shit. Roberto was nice and, and looked really fucking scared. Really fucking scared? Really scared. I hate this. I feel like I stepped on a big spider and I could, like, feel it squish. Let's have a drink. Come on. Oh. Contests of drunken oh, endurance really like old they Simmons, just... But the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Serfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Huh, sounds a little familiar. Except, didn't they take baths like once a year? I don't take baths ever. Yeah, but you shower. Yes. You have sewers and sanitation now. And... Sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but... Until then, you can get toilet paper online, so... Is this where we're gonna sit? The point is, people have always drunk to excess. Drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it. As you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day. And you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So, what are you saying exactly? That, what, that getting drunk is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Yeah. yeah. I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except uh, animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. Finally! How long does it take to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys, 
Roberto is a piece of something happening tonight. And I'm going to drink what with is you happening? now because you did what I asked. And I'm an angel of my word. But stay out of the way from this point forward. Sound good? Let's go. Whatever. Bring it on. I'm... We're good. We're set. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's Ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a two, and... Let's go, Lola, let's go. Hurry it up. Uh, pick up the pace, please. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a good look. Come on, Lola, you're falling behind. Pick up the pace, Lola. I don't know pace, what I'm Lola. doing. Hey, for someone who doesn't like to party or whatever, you're pretty good at this, Apollyon. Yeah, well, uh, I've lived a few lives. I know this is important to you guys, so. Yeah, awesome. Cool. You should see thank what you. I can do with a yo-yo. Walk the dog and everything. Well, oh, thank if there you. isn't anything else, I, don't know how to I should really game. get back to my soon-to-be eventful night. Uh, do you, by chance, know how we died? Because, uh, because I really can't remember. Well, wait, maybe, uh, that maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Yes. Because it's not a truth for everyone. Yeah, I... Car accident, the stoplight at Oak Grove. Guy didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Damn. Well, okay. Okay, kids. Look hmm. to the mad prophet. We want to hold fast to our senses and to our faith in them. And think their consequences through to the end. Think Those about the consequences of tonight. Before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. <laughs> I feel what the same thing. Who knows? All I know is I hope we did the right thing with poor Roberto. No, I'm, I'm sure we did. Polly seemed like well, thank a... thank you. Oh, well, maybe not a good egg, but follow. a less hell spoiled egg. Alone, we'll I'm sure face. she had a good enough reason to want him here. Yeah, Welcome. Maybe. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Famous last words. Oh no. We got an angry drink. I wish we could play this game. What happens if I keep downing the drink? Nothing. Oh, we just came from upstairs. Okay, we have. Let's hold the bow. And we have this guy Roberto. I'm 
Are they saying on Becca? Licking your, my earlobe isn't going to make it any faster, no matter what your personal demon told you. Screamless forgot my extra soy sauce. Again, I'm switching to grub ups for good. Better service, way juicier grub ups. His crumble profile said he liked long walks on the beach, so I brought over a leash and some shit bags. Okay. So, do you want to talk about how we sent an innocent man to be torn apart by wild boars every day? Oh, uh, Roberto? Yeah, yeah, Roberto. Like, I know Polly wanted us to, and we wouldn't have I really seal think something but, else is going uh, on here. She knows something. Something else was going on there, don't you think? I feel like Polly knows something we don't yes. understand. Yeah, but usually the sacrificee gets to choose if they get sacrificed. Unless they're... they're... Mayan, I guess. Anyways, I was just... I was trying to say that I, I sometimes think you let your fears do the deciding for you. Ah, so this is really about me staying in town after school? Hey, I haven't said anything about you staying... You think I'm too scared to move away like you are, right? I'm sorry that my mom needs help, okay, Lola? I'm like her emotional support parrot. My dad remarried in three months, and she's all alone with nothing but her store. You never talked up one girl at school, and then suddenly demand to talk up Eliza? When it was obvious it was Greg. You go back and forth, back and forth. It's just, you know, it's hard to know what target you're aiming at next. Why is she being so mean? Are you really bringing up that drunk girl from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. <sighs> is this, is this a worm horn thing? Like... What the hell is going on with you right now? Yeah, what is going Nothing's on with going you? on, just forget it. My shoes are finally starting to give way. I think it's just it, that's all. Never mind. Oh, oh, we'll walk a little slower then. Cripes. Yeah, why is she being so mean all of a sudden? I like how they said they're gonna walk a bit slower and then start to run. Hmm. What? It's raining. The rain would hurt. Oh no. Ah, the things that are exactly on. the same in both heaven and hell? Since an equal amount of people both love and hate it, like subtitles in movies or driving. But anyways, welcome to your new review. Oh, thank you. Let's just jump right in, shall we? You know, someone must have slandered poor Roberto. For one morning, without having done anything wrong, he was dead and in hell. And you also know, it is rare for people to be I do not care, la 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 la, you can't make me watch a stupid fucking thing. I can't hear you, la 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 la. Hey, I'm fulfilling my duties if you can hear me or not, Lola. It only matters if you're in the room. La. Anyways, I can't believe you threw his case. You complete monsters! And all to get into Apollyon's good graces. You're like the corrupt officials the news warns us about. I really Polly think she knows something. something she, she totally that seemed we like don't. there was more going on. Seems like there was more I'm going really on. I'm really believing it. This isn't a David fucking Lynch movie. There's nothing more going on. You wouldn't know. You just sent an innocent man to an eternity of torment because you wanted out of that same terrible fate. Not cool, dude. And the new number one and recollection it's gonna on this completely kind of like made up list is. Oh, oh shoot, how'd this one get in here? It looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a powerful leader of industry. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. Um, oh my god, no. How, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been. Uh, whatever, moving on. Ugh. Okay, let's just motor through these quick facts of the night so far. He took a poor old witch's dress so you can sneak into a house of devilry. Yeah, Arnold Potter really graduated yes. with a master's in consumer psychology. Okay. He will go on to design intentionally confusing grocery stores before dying of a stroke inside one of his own shops. Okay. Currently, 8% of people enjoy chewing ice, only 15% okay. of which realize it is a sign of behavioral disorder. Oh my god, will you shut this stupid thing off? Wait, 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 there's just, I think there's just like 28 more. Wormhorn. Remember when Lola went on top in the costume? Oh, everyone saw that coming, right? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she made Milo be the legs. Why is more? it better? What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. 
You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No. You know what? Why should I? Tell me. Why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just... I just burn time till there's nothing left? Uh, because it's more fun to let us out and watch us try and fail than sitting in this dark room on your first night in existence? I guess that's hard to argue. Ugh, whatever. Just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. I think she's lying. She's